Okay, before we get started, whenever you start up Extendable WAD Editor, if it gives you an error like index out of bounds or IO unexpected error, blah blah blah, that's an error related to Vista and Windows 7, which there's a fix in the forms, I'll put it in the description, but I'm using the XP so I don't get that crap. So let's get started. Open up Extendable WAD Editor, go to File, New, and Pick a name for anything you want. I've already got one made, New Chainsaw, but I'm going to go ahead and override it anyways. Now, you're going to have a blank area here, it's all white, and then you're going to have a beige area here. Here's where your lumps will go in this area, and here's where all the data will be for your lumps, like a sprite or the decorate lump. Now, the first lump we want to put in uh, t into our new wad is the decorate lump, which is probably like the most important. So, let's click Entry, New, Untitled is the default let's rename it to decorate in all caps good rule of thumb everything you put over here ought to have the name in caps because if it don't you might have some errors or whatnot okay now the lump has appeared over to this area in the left when you click on it it'll be blank now there's this nifty little program you can download called decorate assistant 2.0 where you can use it to paste in templates and other stuff to help you it it's, some people consider it cheating but to me it seems like a really easy it's an easier way to learn how to do it cuz like see how it gives you this nice little kinda default thing actor new weapon weapon all this good stuff now let me just explain a little bit what everything does whenever whenever you declare anything in decorate like a projectile, a decoration, uh, a weapon, a monster, anything. A freaking lamp, I don't care. It's got to start with actor. Basically, this declares that everything passed from here to here is a new actor. This part is basically, you can name it anything. So, I'm going to name it New Chainsaw. The colon basically signifies what it inherits from. You don't always need this for certain stuff, but like if you but if you're making like a weapon or a monster, you definitely want it to make it inherit from something. The template nicely gave us inherit from weapon, which is like a default. You can make it inherit from chainsaw, but it's not necessary. Weapon's basically the basic. So the next line you want to have is a bracket. Just a bracket. What this does is it signifies that the next area is going to be actor properties. The first one that the default gave us is inventory pickup message. You got the new weapon. Let's go ahead and change that to chainsaw, of course. Chainsaw. Weapon ammo give. Now, for like shotguns and stuff, this will be necessary for when you pick up the weapon. You know, usually whenever you pick up a shotgun, you get a you get a default eight shells or whatever but since we got a chainsaw we don't need any of them now the next part is obituary which is this was shot by this is new weapon we this ain't really necessary this is for just like a death match or something but if you wanted to be OCD about it you could you could uh... saw it up by blanks new chainsaw so here's our st here's our properties. Now the last thing you want to have in between this bracket and this bracket is states. This prepares the code for all of this down here. So the states select state is basically when you're bringing the gun up. Deselect is when you're bringing the gun down. You know, like when you're switching to a different gun, it goes it slides off the screen. Fire is when you know yeah self-explanatory when you're attacking with it. Spawn is when the gun is on the ground before you pick it up. And it's actually missing one. It's actually missing a state, which is which kind of sad because I think the dude whoever makes a template thingy needs to fix it. But it should be the ready state. Now I'll get into more of that later, but for right now I'm just gonna put that there. Now before we move on to the states part, we need to insert some new lumps and insert some sprites. So go to entry new, name it S start. Damn it, I suck at spelling. Uh, start, and when you select it, 
it's going to say this entry has been modified save changes yes you want to save changes now make a new make another entry called s end now as you can see right here it's a marker which means anything in between these are going to are considered sprites that's what the s is for so let's go to entry load and let's find those sprites find those sprites that are included with your uh setup I mean to yeah the, the file thing shut up there's mine right there open and look hey we got sprites now now if you wanna if you wanna move like you see how they're kinda out of order there if you wanna move the order you can you can either go to entry move up down or whatnot, or you can hold control and hit D or up or D or U for up and down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix this real quick. There, now I got an order: A, A, B, C, and D, and then the pickup sprite. Now, you you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but it's nice to keep your sprites like in order, so that way you you don't confuse yourself, cause you know this is supposed to be like a tutorial so sort of thing you know you don't want to screw yourself up but yeah look I can like simulate the attack or the ready s the ready state that we're gonna declare later and then the attack or the fire state okay before I get into states I need to explain something about how you have to name the sprites in order for them to work correctly the first four should be like at an identifier like like the default shotgun is S H T G. Now the the letter after that signifies like the uh the animation. See how it goes A B C D. Yeah, that's what it's for. So like I could even do this right now. In the ready state, we need to do saw two. So that way we know what sprite we're talking about. I'll rename these later and we'll get to it. Saw two A B. Now you see how it does it like this. You can do it like that, or you can do it saw two saw two whoop two B. You can do it like that too. It, it doesn't matter, but you can if you're doing it this way, you can put in more functions or whatever. But yeah. So I'm just gonna go back to the way I had it. The only th the only other thing you have to have in the sprite name is a number. Now what the number is is basically the rotation. Notice how in Doom, whenever you turn around an object or whatever, it's not really 3D. You're just seeing a 2D perspective of that angle. Well, this this is the num that's what the number's for. Now zero is like the basic. Okay, weapons you they don't rotate, so they're always gonna be zero. Now I could show you an example of of rotation sprites real quick in case you wanted to do like a class or a monster you just gotta make sure it's named right where is it at where is it at where's mine at where is it at there he is okay right here see I got my dude here see how two he, he turns that way three four five six seven eight that's basically what the numbers are for. So I hope I hope that little clear clears it up for you a little bit. 